Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd Anderson with ADNirvana.com, and we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada for CES 2023. And I'm here with Balaji, founder and CEO mm -hmm. of Displaced TV. And I just saw your PR release a couple days ago yeah. about a truly wireless television. So I had to come by and check this out. So can you tell me a little bit about uh, starting off what kind of panel uh, yeah. technology you guys are using? So we are using uh, LG's 4K OLED panel, um, but that is the only thing that we buy from a supplier, mm -hmm. uh, but everything else that we built, uh, the entire TV from scratch. It's proprietary. It's it. proprietary. And what sizes does this come in? It's, it's a 55 inch 4K OLED TV, uh, but you can form any size TV by putting multiple of these together. Uh, but we are also working on a smaller version of this so that you can actually put it in the fridge, you can put it in all, you know, other, other small areas. Right. But uh, for CES, you know, we are debuting only 55. Right, and this is a soft launch kind of for you guys, right? You're, right now you can pre-order one you, of these TVs? Yeah, you can actually reserve. Uh, it's a fully refundable deposit, like a small deposit. You can reserve your slot because we are going to be shipping only a limited number of units this year. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get from one of the top 100 units, you can actually get it now. So. Wow. Okay. And what is the price for one unit? One unit is going to be $2,999, $3,000. Okay. Uh, but we also sell two pack and four pack. Okay. And uh, four pack is only $9,000. Uh, we are giving 25% discount because the true value that you can actually realize, you know, realize from displays is when you put them together. Because imagine you can see that it's a 110 inch 8K TV right. performing now. And if you have a party, you can just put them together, have a great party. Once the party is over, break it down, put it back in different rooms. That's never heard of, right. because if you buy a 110 inch TV today, you need someone to deliver that to your room. Of house, course, right. And someone, you need someone to install on your wall, and then it's never going to move. Right. And most of, most of the times you don't want to actually have 110 inch TV in your home, but if you have a party, if you, have, if you want to watch something like a very theatrical uh, kind of movie, you want to watch you know, on a big screen. Sure. So that is the whole modular TVs that we built. But in order to make this work, you have to go backwards and see how to make everything wireless. Otherwise, you have to wire each and every, because TV wall is not new, right? Uh, but everything is wired right. today, right? So right. Uh, we, are, we are the first wireless TV. Okay, so that was my next question. Connectivity-wise, mm -hmm. is this wireless yep. uh, so, uh, video signals only, video and audio signals, or just video, correct? Is there other speakers? No, on? no, so there is a base unit that okay. you can actually put in the closet. And the base unit goes to the wall. So you. Uh, and then every TV is wirelessly connecting to the base unit. Got it. So okay. think about like you know, putting the uh, closet just like a, you're dumping the routers somewhere. So put that in the closet and then you can actually put these TVs anywhere you want. And all these TVs wirelessly talk to the base unit and uh, audio, video, even the audio is wireless. So the, we don't have a speaker here yet, but the speaker will be wireless with our own same technology, the vacuum technology and the battery technology. So you could also stick the speakers anywhere you want. Wow. And then okay. you could actually change contents audio seamlessly. Wow. And that is why we built the hand gestures because in fact, you just give a thumbs up to the TV, which means you are telling the TV to follow me. And you can just walk around between different rooms. It will know it's you because the facial recognition technology is built in. Okay, I just saw a demo of that. You yep. stood up and you yep, exactly. waved uh, your arms and the, the image from the top corner went yep. across all, right. all four. Exactly, right. You, you can even have to choose which one you want to blow up. And you can watch four different videos on four different panels. Mm -hmm. And then if you choose, hey, I want to watch this on a big screen, just point that and just do this, it, it will blow up. Okay. And then uh, you can literally grab the video and then throw it to the other, other TV as well. Okay. So these are all, like, you know, the, re the, the reason why it's all going to work is because of the architectural decisions that we made, uh, the technology decisions that we made. Sure. They're one base unit with multiple wireless TVs. Right. And what kind of signal is it capable of receiving? 4K? I mean, yeah. you said these are 4K panels, so... 4K, 60 uh, hertz. Uh, we don't support 120 yet, but uh, it's all going to be 4K. But uh, we, very soon, we will, we will be supporting 120 and then 8K and, you know... And HDR also? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and the, the way this mounts is yeah. really unique. When I arrived here, it was appeared to be suction cupped basically mm -hmm. onto the wall. Is that essentially what is It happening? is a suction cup actually because you know, we all know that vacuum cups you know work sure but it will lose suction like, I, I, it will lose it, uh, it lose vacuum over time 
Yeah. So the reason why we call this as an active loop vacuum technology is because we control the hardware, we control the software, okay. and we have created a lot of uh, machine learning based uh, smart algorithms that will understand the surface, that will understand how the vacuum works and how it, it'll understand the pressure, and then it will keep the vacuum on all ah, the time. Okay. So that is the whole technology that, that we built. Does that require battery? It will use to, the battery. To, uh, yeah, it will use to the battery. keep it up? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It will use the batteries, but if the batteries die uh, and the vacuum loses suction, uh, then we will deploy something called displaced airbags. Um, so this, but this is going to be like a corner case, like worst case scenario, you're not home for like over a month and you're not actually attending to it, but we, because we will keep warning you saying that, hey, you know, you're losing one battery, you need to change the batteries and all right. stuff. And you, as you can see, you can also, it's very easy to remove the batteries, charge it. Right. Um, so, but if you are away on a vacation for over a month, so then the, uh, our TV will automatically uh, deploy different materials to stick to the wall. Uh, the first level of material that we'll be deploying is something that will not leave any marks on the wall, uh, but it will not stick on all walls, but it, we will sense that. So as soon as we sense that this material is not going to stick to the wall, then we will deploy the second level of material, which is more like an industrial 3M tape like this, and okay. then it'll, it'll stick to the wall. The bottom line goal is the TV will never fall. Okay. Uh, the, the method of sticking to the wall is our proprietary vacuum. Uh -huh. And then once the vacuum loses suction and the batteries die, then it'll use other uh, different types of okay. sticking methods. And the batteries, it, it looked like there were four. Is that correct? Yeah, the there four, are four batteries. Yeah. Four batteries and they're hot swappable. So yeah. if you're mid-watching a show, yeah. you can pop one, two, or up to three Yep, yeah, up out. to three, yeah. The TV needs only one battery to, to, to function. Okay. Right. And these batteries will get your TV, you said, about... About a month, or yeah. About a month. Uh, about a month, assuming you're watching six hours of uh, video time every sure. day. That's a lot. That's a lot of time. I mean, some people do that, I right. guess. But uh, right, yeah, six hours of uh, active active uh, time on uh, on the screen, uh, it can it can last for a month. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And you need a flat surface to mount this on. Correct. I mean, it can be textured. It can be like it, it has to be a flat surface. Right. But it can be a drywall. Uh, it can have some kind of a bit of pores. It will still work. But it cannot be like super bumpy too much like gap between tiles right it it will still work but it, it may not be as effective as a flat sure surface. sure right. but, but but it is not like a like an adhesive material mm -hmm. right which is why our, our plus you know we are, we are actively keeping the vacuum on so uh, so it will still work with any surface but it, the effectiveness uh, and how much battery is actually used to keep the vacuum on will be will, will vary how many batteries does one unit ship with Four. Four so plus you, if you want to buy, and you, you can buy extras yeah, and extra. have charging stations yeah. somewhere in your house. Yep, yeah, exactly. Well, I love the idea of this um, because a lot of people have multiple TVs in their home, but this pretty much solves that problem where you can, yep, take your living room TV up to your bedroom and continue watching the game or a movie or whatever you're watching. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. That is the whole, uh, you know, that is the whole reason why we started the company because it's not like you know we thought oh we want to create a wireless TV. Yeah. The vision that we wanted to go after was we are seeing a world where we want people to be putting multiple displays on the walls in their homes because once you have that system established, then when you walk around, it is these displays are going to be delivering more value than just consuming entertainment. Sure. Yeah. So for us to get to that vision, we went backwards to see what are the friction points that people have. Because today the, the biggest display that you have in your home is, is a TV, mm -hmm. but it's it's so antiquated, it has never been invented uh, like you know for decades. Sure. Uh, the only invention that you see in the uh, TV space is the display technology. Right. right. So rolling display, folding display, all of those things are great. Mm -hmm. But as a TV as a unit, it's it's still the same, like the plastic bulky device. Yeah. It got thinner and thinner, sure, but nothing in terms of like you know how smart they are and all this stuff. So. So we wanted to fundamentally change, and uh, the biggest friction point that we saw uh, with the TVs is the wires. If I want to put a TV in my kitchen, I have to think twice, where, you know, the right spot True. for the wires and all the stuff. So, yeah. so we want to remove that, so we thought, okay, let's create a wireless TV with, uh, that's run out of batteries uh, that will remove all these ports and wires, but then we don't want people to be charging this every night, like an iPad. Right. So then we had to create a proprietary battery assembly system so that you could hot swap these batteries, but the TV will still function. What's the technology behind the batteries? Are these lithium? Lithium ion, ion. Yeah. What's the lifespan of the battery, do you estimate? I mean, are we... Uh, it's it's going to be lasting for a long time because so these are you're, lithium ion. You're going to get yeah. multiple years of yeah, use out of this. Years, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like five, six years, maybe. Uh, it's, it's a standard lithium ion battery, but, right. the, the, but the kind of formation of that 
uh, and the form factor, everything is going to be proprietary. Awesome. Well, I think a lot of people are rooting for you, um, you. out there. This is a really cool technology awesome. uh, that thank you guys are rolling out here at CES. So thank you. Listen, thanks for taking time to chat with us yep. today. Thanks. And everyone out there, we'll have more from the show floor soon. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Thanks, thank guys.